Uh, good morning, I'm Christina, and I thought that today maybe we could talk about diamonds again because they're awesome. And this is a really unusual piece. Um, it's actually a dog collar. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, but in the Edwardian period, they did a lot of dog collars. It's early part of the um, 20th century, early 1900s. They did these pearl collars, right, with like a big diamond plaque in the middle. And it was super popular, supposedly, because Queen Alexandra had a birthmark on her neck. She loved to wear dog collars to kind of hide it. Um, also, as we age, we tend to like things that maybe cover up some of the wrinkles or whatever in the neck. Um, but dog collars basically are um, also very cool. Like, they have a very cool look to them. It's not what you see every day. Um, I always think that somebody that's wearing one is kind of edgy and different. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um, certainly the coolest dog collar I've ever seen. Um, and it has a very different history. So this piece, I'm gonna pull it apart and you can see it, is actually a cage. And it is made with antique or old European cut diamonds. So these big diamonds are set in these plaques and they're all antique cuts, I don't know if you can see. And then this very groovy cage goes all the way around. And it actually set is set with a pin. So that's how you open it and you close it, right? So it's fixed, it's rigid, it's like a gigantic bangle, but if you can see, it's completely tapered to go around the slope of your neck. So this piece is mid-century, it's Danish, it's made in 18 karat white gold. Even though it has antique stones, it was obviously made using somebody's antique stones, but made more in the 50s or the 60s. And we're actually lucky, because this piece is actually signed, let me find it right here, and it says Exner. Um, there was a Danish jeweler named Bent Exner that was producing goods in the in this time period. He mainly worked in silver, and I've seen a lot in copper. A very avant-garde, um, very collectible, very cool. I have never seen another one in a precious metal like this. Um, not that silver is not a precious metal, but anyway. And he did these like super cool, groovy, very mid-century, very avant-garde kind of designs. Lots of cubes and squares and ge geometry. And as we know with the Danes and with Scandinavian design in general, it tends to be about lightness, airiness, um, geometry, um, space, and light. I mean, you want it to be clean and spare and um, comfortable. So that's the deal with this necklace is that it is all of those things. It is very unusual. I think on, if you couldn't tell, it's just, there goes the pin. <laughs> if you can't tell on, it's just the prettiest. It's super pretty. I mean, I don't know it's kind of hard to beat and you could wear it with other pieces if you wanted to and you could wear it to special occasions but it doesn't necessarily have to be now i like to think that this is a cool woman that's wearing this um i would think so if i saw her somewhere 